welcome to tangling along with me we are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and today it is this pattern that we're gonna do let's open up the book and find a space for this one um yeah let's turn my book around just a tiny bit i'm gonna use this piece up here for this one i think I'm gonna do it like that so I have kind of a line down here so for this one we are going to make these high mountains like that and I'm like this is a nice pattern but it's like the same thing as that one just a little different Inside we're going to make an aura all the way around aura and aura and we're actually going to color that in with our jelly roll this is the 08 in white Just coloring, coloring that in. And of course you can do this on white paper with a black fine liner. And you just color this in with the fine liner instead of the jelly roll. And actually we should do that one more time here. Um, I'm just gonna give it one arc because I can't have a double arc here. So I'm gonna do it a bit different and we're gonna go up, start on the middle point of on one of these and make the arc. And going from that point to the next point and again going in making the two aura lines or three if you have room for it I'm coloring that one, two, coloring the outer one, and again. Coloring the outer one here with my white. One aura, two aura. And out here I can only have one. Then we're going to go in here, it's coming up and over, going up and over. And that's all there is to this pattern. So here we get the auras. Aura, coloring them in, so what you do in one of these, you do in every one of these. I actually think it's pretty cool here on the black paper because there are 
a lot of white here. I kind of like that. But this pattern reminds me about a lot of these patterns. There's a lot of these wavy patterns with different things on them inside. And that's okay, but there's a lot of these. <clears throat> so we have actually a tiny bit of that right here. And then the first aura. And the second. One, two. It's a lot of heavy traffic out there. Exactly when I want to do stuff. That did not go well. There we go. So that's a pattern. It's a bit white. So let's get some color in there. Let's take our color pencils here. And I am thinking of just using the light green here in this center thingy. So I am gonna go into all of these very lightly. find the right spots here. Then I'm gonna take my white and I am going to color in all of these with the white. Taking my time with this and enjoying every stroke, one stroke at the time. And the two small pieces right here, going back to my green and then I am giving it everything with my green. And now we can really see the green color coming out. And I like that. You can really see the difference from where I put the white in and where I am going over with the green again. It's getting really nicely green here. I hope it's visible on the camera as well. don't um, if you're not working on the black paper you can take your graphite and I am taking my charcoal so if you want you can follow this top line around it's really hard here because everything is so colored in and then you can use your chartillon to kind of soften it in so that you get kind of a shadow around the tops here um, it's not gonna show 
that much here. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Following this line here. And I'm not touching the jelly roll with the charcoal and I'm not putting it over our uh, color pencils either. So it's actually not much that we get in there, but a little. Now we could put a tiny bit up here as well. Just because. There we go. <coughs> Sorry about that. So that is the pattern for today. I actually think it turned out really neat. And it is kind of uh, bold right there in the corner or in the little room it got. It is this pattern right here. And I think it fits very nice on the paper. So that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.